Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 4 top plays. What an insane shot to start us off from Peanut Rule. Hitting that headshot at range on road transmission on a free faller. Incredible stuff. Now keeping it with some sniping clips, we've got this one from Ascend High Sound. It's using the CS5, he's getting a seven man on Paracel Storm. He did send in a few clips. The second one is again a sniping clip using the CS on Dawnbreaker, an eight man in total for this one. And then the third and final clip he sent in is switching out to something a little more close range. It's the UTS-15, Operation Locker, and a really satisfying back rage alongside an MCOM disarm. Greedless is next, the first of a few odd clips that I've had sent in that I thought I'd include. This one, well, I'm going to slow it down in the replay for you after you watch exactly what he does. You can tell me what happens. According to the chat, at least, that was quite a lucky C4. He hits the IED, taking out a few vehicles, including one in the air. He actually took out an attack helicopter with that Jeep C4. Incredible luck. The next clip is from Walkable Mango 42. He's on Hainan Resort on the roof, and look what he does next. Lungaro 9 is coming in with an attack helicopter clip. I do love the attack helicopter and if you've got a pilot that can hit the tow missiles like this you're going to dominate the skies three in a row proving that it's skill not luck You seem to really enjoy a streak that I posted from Dusty a few weeks ago when he looked to dominate Operation Whiteout, get onto the objectives, and really go for a longer kill streak as opposed to a short and sweet one. This is going to be more of the same. He's playing an Operation Outbreak, a map that came to us as a community project. Really awesome that DICE did that all those years ago, and I hope to do something similar in the future for maybe the next Battlefield game. It was a great journey that we're all taken on. This one is a support smoke and push as he looks to get onto the objectives, take down as many players as he can, helped through the smoke as many of them are spotted as well. Really awesome stuff this, and it's not just one life either. He does get taken out, and then in a future life, he also goes on a big kill streak. So a couple of minutes of some epic infantry gameplay.
Two clips from Tessio Bruno. The first is going to be on Operation Locker with the CZ3A1. Kind of stuck in this corner here behind these explosive barrels, but that doesn't stop him racking up a bunch of kills. The second is once again on Locker, this time though he's dropping in behind the enemy team using the M240B, a big kill streak this one, with the perfect weapon for it. Sticking with Operation Locker, we've got a clip from Venom Helix, a 17 kill streak in less than a minute using the AEK. This is super accurate stuff. I don't think he misses much at all. I'd be interested to see what his accuracy was for this game. It's probably 30% or maybe a little bit higher. Accurate stuff. I really enjoyed this streak. And finishing off today's episode, a Metro clip from Christopher2JJ. The MG4 is his weapon of choice, lots of smoke, perfect so he can stay concealed and get behind the enemy team, and then set to work mowing them down. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like down below. If you have any clips yourself, the email is battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com. You can find that down in the description, alongside a bunch of other links if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.